Welcome to a new video and in this video we want to talk about a new software app that Huawei presented on their P50 launch event called Petal Clip. So let's get started. On the P50 launch event Huawei also introduced a new application for video editing called Petal Clip. This should help users to edit their videos for vlogging, just like I'm doing here right now. And this could be very interesting. In fact, this video is completely cut, at least I try to cut it completely, on Huawei Petal Clip. And it has some templates already and some instructions and videos already and a lot of functions. But can it beat like video editors, Kinemaster, Filmora Go and others? Let's find out. So this is uh, Petal Clip, the user interface. I showed you the templates and tutorials already. We have the get started option here and we have our projects here at the bottom and we have some settings here in the settings options. I want to show you the version, which is 1201300. And we have a clear cache option and add outro option if you want to add an outro. Let's go into editing here. I have a video already that I captured and this is uh, for YouTube uh, shorts. So it's in one to one format and you can see I have some animations here already and a picture that's uh, blending in. I have options here for first of all the main clip that I have to split it up to change the speed, the volume, add animation to it, delete it of course. I have, this is, uh, what is it, frame export option, which allows me to export this frame to a picture. If you want to create a nice uh, YouTube thumbnail, for example, this might be very interesting. We have some filters that we can play around with. It's always loading from a Chinese web server, those filters, so it's not downloaded directly uh, in the app itself. So it's trying or giving you the option to download them in the future. They can add more options as well as paid options. And as you can see here, there are some, uh, in this case, in a Chinese language. And uh, usually it is also loading the uh, previews of them as well. But as it's downloading it currently from China and I'm in Germany, it is taking a while for the filters to load. But we have various categories here for filters and so on and we can change the filters. We can crop the image if we want to. We can get the whole image here and have a nice cropping tool that allows us to do this. Uh, but we also have adjustments for the image itself. So we can adjust the brightness a bit if we want to make it a bit brighter, for example. The default value is 50, as you can see here. We can play around with the contrast a bit, make the contrast a bit higher. But I think the contrast is good with 50. The only thing that I want to do, uh, bring down a bit, is the saturation. Sometimes I feel like it's a bit too saturated and looking a bit unnatural. So around 36 is cool. And I can also play with the hue if I want to. Uh, so make it like a bit different uh, just the way I like it. Or also the temperature. I can make it a bit warmer or colder if I want to. And I like it warm. And uh, the sharpness, I can also improve the sharpness. So they will add additional sharpening. And also the exposure can be changed so I can make it brighter in general or a bit darker just the way I like it. And I think this one looks good. And I can also play with the highlights, bring them down a bit or bring them up, which is pretty nice if you have HDR videos, for example, that you want to edit. Uh, same goes for shadows. I can lift them up or bring them down. And a fade effect, as you can see here. And uh, several other options here, like vignette effect, if I want to have a bit of vignetting and also grain effect if I want to add some film grain, which is pretty nice. So these are the options that I have here. I just leave it like it is right now. We have some other options, just like, for example, we can copy this video clip. We can replace the video clip with another one, which is pretty cool, cool and awesome. If you want to replace a video clip, we have the option to mask a video clip. And it's also trying to download several things here right now, which it didn't succeed. But then you have some options um, to, to, to mask and add a mask here for some special effects. Uh, chroma key is here as well. So I have the option to uh, have a color picker for my chroma to uh, simply reset the um, background. And there's a mirror effect. So I can do also mirroring here in my video if I want to. I have opacity effect where I can say, okay, I want this to be zero. 
and then a one and the cool thing is like i can have like this effect of like blending something in at the beginning for example when i'm just talking here what i could do is just simply say okay i want to have like a keyframe so i add a keyframe here um what i do is first of bring the opacity down yeah say okay set keyframe then go a bit like here for example and say um i want the opacity to be 100% and say set keyframe and what I did now is I created the uh, let's do it again and we are here I add a keyframe and here I set the opacity 100% set okay and now I have the option just as you can see a smooth blend in effect so you have the option also to add keyframes, which is pretty nice with this option here. Then if I go out here and doesn't don't have anything selected, I have various different other options here as well. Like I have down here some options like filters for the whole project if I want to, effects for the whole project, picture and picture option that uh, you can see here where I have like, if I go into the picture and picture mode, you can see I have like a little uh, clip here. And if I go on this one, I have also the masking options, replacing options, uh, opacity options, of course. I can also add keyframes here. Oops. <laughs> I can also add keyframes there. And I also have the option to uh, mix stuff up. As you can see here, I can darken and have it as overlay. So I can mix this in this way in this sense as well if I want to and I have other filters but also animations and what I'm using here as an animation is one of the key animations that is loading here right now you can see I have some several other animations and this is the one that I chose here for this um, to blend in so I have various different animations that I can choose and this is how this will then look like pretty awesome I also have another one it's a video here I can also have like multiple layers of uh, video clips so where is the option uh, here i have an add option where i can add another uh, picture or video on top of this one which is also pretty awesome and handy and if i want to check something in bigger screen i can go here into full screen mode as you can see and then see the whole video which is pretty nice what it doesn't have is a um, landscape mode so it's only strictly vertical uh, that i can use here right now and uh, yeah this is the picture in picture mode that i can do uh, here if I want to and I can go out here and always like if I'm somewhere uh, else in the timeline I can mm, click here to select the clip and uh, which is pretty awesome as you can see if I cl click here it will go there and here it will select this clip and I have options like cropping uh, I can pan and zoom I have uh, the option to change the speed uh, the volume can be changed in this case 200% because the microphone is always a bit recording a bit lower in terms of shout or something like this. I have the option to reverse the video to freeze a frame if I want to and uh, several other options as well. Let's go back here. Let's go to uh, aspect ratio for example where I have the option to set various different aspect ratios just like I can set the one that is used for Instagram stories or um, YouTube stories. YouTube story, YouTube shorts, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, TikTok. Uh, so I have these options here. I have filters here. I have effects that I can add on top of the video, um, which should also load from the internet right now. And uh, they are also pretty awesome. And you can download them, as you can see here. There's several effects with a little preview as well. And it will be then available. And it's all for free, which is really, really cool and awesome and we can also add some text so if i want to add some text i can say add text i have the option to say okay i want one of the templates which is also cool it's downloading again from the internet and uh, let's see what templates we have here there's some uh, loading as you can see definitely more uh, asian specific templates as we can see lots of uh, bunny animations and rabbits and so on but I can also just like download this one here and add this one here. Does it have any effect? Is it downloading? It's downloading currently. Um, usually they have some effects as well, like smooth fading in or something, a line above and uh, beneath and some others. Probably they, they, they are adding more. As you can see, there's stuff loading still. It's more Chinese specific right now. But it is something that uh, can be done here as well 
and yeah mm. I can also add manually text here I can just type in a text just like for example uh, this is a test and say yes okay this is my text and of course I have some options for the text I can add more text I can just simply move it around here somewhere I can uh, change it you can see that I missed something so yes is missing I can change it I can uh, copy this as well if I want to copy the text it might be very awesome as well and of course I have some other options here uh, like editing the text in terms of style so as you can see I have various different styles that I can immediately apply which is also pretty awesome this is built in already uh, like also this style this style this style which makes it easier to read and uh, of course I can choose fonts then it will go and give you besides the default font some others that it tries to load from the internet we have some color options we have outlining options shadow options backgrounding options alignment options as you can see here italic uh, which allows me to have a bold font uh, italic or underline font so this is possible here as well so these are some of those i have animations as well for the text and this is also trying to load now the animations from the internet as you can see it's a bit slow but there are possibilities just like for example this one here which I, which i think is pretty awesome so i can download this one here and uh, there's also this one here and some others just like uh, this one here for example and i think i downloaded one already this one here i can choose the duration i said yes and what I can do now is play it back and you will see then what it does uh, okay this was a bit short maybe so we edit this and go to animation and say we want the animations to be let's say 2.6 seconds so it's almost the whole yeah as you can see here so we have this this possibility to do this to edit this and you can play around with this as well there's the animation tab as well where you can directly go to the animations and you have various different animations here that you can use um, how about this animation and we make it like very quickly 0 0.5 this is a standard animation that I usually use in all my videos yeah it's a bit bit too slow maybe but you can tweak it a little bit more make it 0 0.3 seconds and then yeah it's working fine and then you could add of course um, some other things I go to edit and I can say I have a bubble around it if I want to so there are several bubbles that it's loading right now also with a preview where I can add um, this or that so this is also pretty nice there's some text art options as well that it's uh, trying to load now and yeah this is uh, pretty awesome I would say for a first try of a video editing suit uh, by Huawei and uh, let's go back to style maybe I add a background this one here and I can make it a bit transparent just like this maybe if I want to have it yeah like this then I have a nice little text like this so this is one possibility to edit stuff in here we have of course stickers as well where you can have like a subscribe and like and so on sticker you can also add something from your gallery if you want to uh, but here's some stickers as you can see here's some summer stickers and uh, yeah uh, the temperature for example and then you can add this one there's some others as well here uh, very different categories as you can see and it takes a while to load there are lots and lots of stuff and there's also a vlog category probably with subscribe and like and such buttons and uh, yeah there's several several like uh, those that you can use for something like this and yeah this is a pretty awesome I would say uh, already sound options you have the option to add some music you can open uh, Huawei music for this and then it will allow you to add some music from Huawei music as well you can see here it is integrated into the system so you have this option as well let's go back 
we have the option to set the uh, sound effects as well. It's also trying to load some sound effects and you have various different sound effects here. Uh, the same goes for recording as well as extracting the audio from a video and then editing it out. Just like if you want to move it uh, around or something like this is also possible. And uh, yeah, uh, the background is also possible where you can change uh, the background here as you can see. And uh, the styles also loading and uh, you have various different backgrounds here that you can choose for your video as well. If you want to have a background style because of your video is smaller than the, the whole surface that you need. And of course you have the edit option and we'll go back to uh, giving you these options that we had before. So pretty awesome already I would say. I will, uh, like I think I said already, I will try to do or to edit my video in this editor. And uh, I think this is enough for this little overview of a pedal clip. And uh, there will be a download link in the description if you're searching for this app, want to try it out yourself. But keep in mind, downloading stuff from Chinese servers, it will take a while. And it could be that uh, they might restrict it even if too many people are suddenly accessing all those uh, yeah, things. Anyway, it's a very good and nice editor. I'm not sure if Huawei was working together with someone else to create it, but um, yeah, I, I like it. To make this video a little bit more interesting, I thought I'd put some clips in and do some editing here and show maybe something picture in picture, if it's possible even, uh, to see if Paddle Clip can support this. And what we want to do is talk a bit about the P50 launch event, what I was not talking about in my other videos. You can see the short version up there and down in the description also the longer version, what you can expect of the Huawei P50. But what I want to talk about now is what I didn't talk about in those videos, like the front-facing camera, which will be 100 degree ultra-wide angle one, and 30 megapixels, which is also interesting. So it will have the, have the capability of the Mate 40 to get ultra-wide angle support, but also autofocus, which the Mate 40 lacked a little bit where I was thinking yeah made for vlogging maybe I'm using by the way the back cameras you might know notice that from the from the background blur the bokeh effect but uh, yeah the Mate 40 Pro also has a nice front-facing camera with a wide uh, angle lens and now the P50 has this wide angle lens as well but autofocusing so the same feature that the P40 Pro Plus P40 Pro had which is also an autofocusing lens on the front, which might be very interesting for vloggers, I would say. At least those vloggers that want to see themselves. I don't need to see myself. I have a big mirror, basically, around the big glass, around the sensors here, where I can see a little bit of myself and can do a little bit of the framing right. And uh, otherwise, it's such a wide, it's like 24 millimeters, I think, or 23 millimeters wide angle lens. This, this, um, main lens here which gives me nice background blur that's working wonderfully if I in doubt I can always switch through the ultra wide angle that has even more and then I'm definitely uh, completely in the picture in the frame so no issues with that. So this is the end now of this little video clip what do you think about paddle clip is it a good start I think Huawei has something to it I think the user interface might be a little bit needs some tweaks here and there it is optimized for cell phones or for smartphones definitely it's not so mu much optimized for the uh, tablets I would say so for more goal might be the better choice there for tablets or even KineMaster is a bit better optimized for tablets I would say but I think for yeah, if you want to cut this video on a smartphone, this makes a lot of sense. Question is how many people do this? Um, I, for example, use my tablet for cutting my vlogs or videos because it just is a bit better with the bigger screen. You have more options. You can click faster with the pen and on a smaller screen doesn't make sense. There are possibilities to do this, definitely. But uh, I don't prefer the user interface so much, I have to say. But you can write down in the comment section what you think about Paddle Clip, what Huawei should improve in terms of user interface eventually, or what feature you are missing in Paddle Clip. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.